This is Giovanni De Stefano for SLI Media on the conclusion of the alleged royal blackmail uh, case. Now, I use the word alleged because, yes, it has to be conceded that the my client, especially uh, uh, Ian Strachan, was convicted. However, can you say that this is a safe conviction? Now, uh, we've had, of course, all of the Sunday newspapers, the News of the World, who were involved, of course, in this there, and the reporter gave evidence uh, uh, there. Most of the newspapers and most of the people have come out of the woodwork, the Rebecca Street, the Lauras, all of these people that knew my client, Ian Strachan, have all come out and sold their stories saying what a bad boy that he was and how they dumped him and this, that and the other. Well, we'll make no comment on that. Uh, 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 that's a matter for the Sunday newspapers. And of course, if it sells newspapers, they're going to print a, a story like that. But this case is by no means over. Now, some of you will, of course, remember the case of Rosalind Driza. Now, do you remember that she was the Brazilian cleaner, the busty cleaner that blackmailed the uh, 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 the judge, the uh, the judge at the immigration tribunal? Now, when she was convicted, the newspapers, exactly the same as in this case, were full of themselves. Yet, on appeal, she succeeded. She was bailed pending appeal. And her appeal was successful. Now, in this case, I have to say uh, uh, that Mr. Justice Cook behaved impeccably. He even gave uh, a copy of the summing up, which is unusual, uh, to counsel and to all of us uh, that before he delivered it. However, as you know, the specialities of SLI and myself and Jerome Lynch and other uh, uh, counsel that uh, we all work together are in appeals. Yes, we of course uh, uh, participate in many uh, uh, trials, but it's the question of appeal. Now, in an appeal, the question is this, is the conviction safe? It's got nothing to do with innocence or guilt. In fact, the law in the United Kingdom is almost irrelevant. It's a question of procedure. Let me tell you why, for example. If the law was fair, why are there applications to exclude evidence? Why can't you put everything in, both prosecution and defence? No. So it's got nothing to do with innocence or guilt. It's to do with procedure. Now, we have identified an issue which may very well attract the attention of the Court of Appeal. So on this issue, I say to you, watch this space. These boys, my client Ian Strachan, well, he has at the moment 18 months more to serve, and that's the end of the matter, and he'll come out, uh, 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 and everything will be okay. But this is the first time since, I'm told here, 1891, where a member of the royal family even bothered uh, uh, to participate in a black male trial. Now then, finally, just to set all your minds thinking, Black male, section 21 of the Theft Act 1968. But <laughs> it's possible that even the word black male may be prejudicial. Think about it. Joanna De Stefano for SLI Media, signing off.